Hello again. We are now in part 13 of the core studies. First part, finished evolution. Destroyed it, boom, gone, moving on. Then part two through now, we have been talking about creation and the beginning of the history. We are now at the flood point and we are talking about God remembering Noah while Noah was in the boat and there was a flood over the whole land. And we're spending three parts on this, this section because it's important. The first part on part 12 of this series, verse of day 201, we talked about how God remembered Noah and showed a few of his promises. But now we need to talk about some more promises. There's too many promises to, to remember them all. So we got to do it. Genesis 8, 1. And God remembered Noah. Oh, yes. And God remembered Noah. And every living thing and all the cattle that was with him in the ark. And God remembered him. All right. So what are a few promises that the word talks about? Because remember, if you are now saved, the promises that were true to Israelites, to the Jews, you are now grafted in. You are now grafted in through Yeshua, Jesus. And you are now saved. You're now his children. Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope in a future. You have hope in a future through him. No matter what situation you are, no matter how things seem so grim, you could be in prison and know that you have a hope in a future through Christ. This is just a smidget of life, a smidget. Eternity is so much more. And he even takes care of us here on this planet. He does. But that's not what you look. You look, you now see further than Kronos when you're with God. You now see through Kairos. He has a future for you. Philippians 4, 6 through 9. Do not be anxious about anything. Don't be anxious about nothing, man. But in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, Whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable. If anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Whatever you have learned or received or heard from me or seen in me, put into practice. And the God of peace will be with you. I love, I, I love that. When I see that, I picture things that are good and pure and noble and peace. These are the things we need to think about. These are the things that fill us with the fruits of the Spirit. These are those things. 1 Peter 2.24 He himself bore our sins. Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, bore our sins. And his body on the cross so that we might die to sins. We put away those sins and live for righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed. You're healed. You're healed through Christ. I think I talked about it. And maybe I talked about it in verse of day 123. You're no longer. Watch this. Trust me. Watch it. You're no longer a slave to sin. You're a slave to righteousness. You're a slave to righteousness. Exodus 14, 14. The Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. Be still and know that he is God. Psalm 91, 3. Surely he will save you from the fowler snare and from the deadly pestilence. Amen. He's there for you. We will continue learning about Genesis. We will finish, I promise. But his promises are so good. I have to do one more session of them, okay? And we'll get past Genesis 8, 1. Dear Holy Father, I cannot get enough of your promises, Lord. They have taken me into some of the through some of the darkest times of my life, and I'm so thankful for them, Father. Thank you for remembering us. You never forget us, but in Chronos, it seems like you remembered us. In Yeshua's name, we pray. Amen.
Goodbye.